Hey everyone, we are going to do the tutorial for the printable fabric bookmark from the February Silhouette Life Inspiration Box. So the materials that you'll need are the Terio Magic, you'll need your Heat and Bond, your Riley Blake fabric, and your printable cotton sheets. So once you have all of those, let's get set up on our computer, um, open the Design Studio and the tutorial, and we will go from there. Okay, so I've got the tutorial over here and my Design Studio here. I just opened the... Um, the design file she gave us and this is what opened up. I'm actually not going to do print and cut. If you've watched my other videos, you know that my cut mat right now is not really set up to cut fabric. So I'm just going to use scissors and I'm just going to still print out this shape and then I'm just going to cut it with my scissors and cut out the fabric with my scissors. And you'll kind of see that way of things if you ever don't want to use your machine for any reason. So I don't need this cut border. I also don't need my registration marks. So I am going to turn off that registration marks. I don't want them on. So we're going to go off. So now we have that. We have an eight by eight and a half by 11 sheet. And when I feed it into my printer, I want it to print over here because I already cut out the top of my sheet over here. So here's my eight and a half by 11. I'm showing my print border, which is right in here. And then my cut border I turned off because again, I'm not cutting into my machine. So now when I send it to the printer, it should print that. If you're doing print and cut, keep the registration marks on, keep the cut light on. Um, that will be for, let's see, for your fabric. So what you're gonna do, let's see, make sure your fabric is treated with Terial Magic. And then you're just gonna cut out all the strips. So basically when you're doing it in your studio, you're gonna print this and you're gonna move this box around it after. So don't, this won't print. But when you cut it, you'll be able to move that onto your box and it will cut out your fabric. So I'm just going to print this and then I'm going to show you in my video how I'm cutting it. It's going to be really simple. Then we'll iron it together using my quilt mate and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and print out this bookmark. Okay, so I have my quilt mate set up. My iron is warm. I got my fabric scissors, my fabric, heat and bond, and my printed out cotton fabric. This is just cardstock taped on the back since I had a hole in it and I wanted to send it through my printer. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out your heat, um, your cotton fabric. So if you did this as a print and cut, you would just send it through your machine um, in order to have it cut out perfectly. Again, my cutting mat isn't really set up for fabric right now, so I called it quits on that one. And I just did a really rough cut here. I'm going to make it better now that there's less to work with. So once you have it all cut out, then we need to cut one heat and bond and one fabric. So I'm almost ready. I'm going to try to even up the edges here just a little bit. I'm going to even up the top. That's the hard thing about scissors. Like if my mat was working, I'd totally do a print and cut because it looks way better. But that's okay. So now I have this. Just found another edge that's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so now I need to print, cut out my heat and bond. Ooh, maybe this will fit. We're close. Not quite though, so unrealistic thing of heat and bond. And I'm gonna just cut, sorry, this is noisy. I'm going to cut just right around here. Again, I'm just going to trim down. It's easier to trim than it is to cut on a big sheet exactly how you need it. So, now I'm done with the heat bond. So, I need that. So, let's trim this down. I'm going to line up the flat edge of the heat bond with the flat so that way we at least have two corners that are perfect. And then I'm just going to trim off the rest. So if you feel like just using fabric scissors, this is the way to do that. And then again, it's okay if it's a little bit smaller than your fabric because heat and bond will adhere to whatever it's on. So if you don't want it to adhere to something else, that's totally fine. And then I'm going to look for this and I'm going to try to find like a good section that I want it on in this fabric. And I'm actually just probably going to use the edge of it right here so it's easy again. So I've got it on the edge and I'm just going to go ahead and cut again a little bit around it and then I'll just trim. Okay, so let's trim this down. Okay, 
actually got it pretty close. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna cut off this frayed edge right here. All right, so now I have that, and I've got each of these. So I am gonna take off the backing, because remember last time I totally forgot to do that? Yeah, that was awkward. So now my bookmark is gonna be like this. Boop. And the heat bond's gonna go in the middle with the sticky side on your fabric, or the textured side on the fabric. So now I just have to get the backing off of this. Yep, so then I have this piece of fabric. And then I want to make sure we're good there. So now I'm going to press this onto the, the heat and bond onto the fabric. Again, trying to line it up so the heat and bond is only adhering to the fabric. So I'm going to take my Teflon sheet and I'm going to lay it down right on there. And then I'm going to lay down my iron right on top. And I'm just going to press, give it some good pressure for a few seconds. And then I'm going to see if that was enough, see if that adhered okay. It's not peeling up as nice as I want it to. Nope, so I'm going to keep pressing. I don't think that's ready. So I'm going to press here. Do, do, do. And then one right here. Now let's see if it's good. Hmm. Sometimes I don't know if I need to let it cool a little bit more. See, it's still peeling up. By peeling up, I mean I can still tell that the residue is sticking to both ends, and I don't want that. I want it to just be stuck on the fabric. So I'm going to press it down again. And then I'm going to try a new corner. I don't think it's coming off. Ah, oh, that side worked. Alright, so it may have just been the one corner I was messing with is still having issues. Yeah, there's not as much heat and bond there, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to press this, and then we may just have to come back and uh, fill in that corner with something, with a little something. So now, and she showed you how you can do a uh, cardstock in the middle to make it firmer. I decided not to. So let me show you what it'll look like. Press it. And you can use your heat press. That's fine. It just projects like this are usually easier for me to just do my iron. So then... Actually, looks like it worked pretty good. So there's my bookmark. Really cute. Really simple, printable fabric bookmark. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, if yours didn't line up right, you can trim now. So there are some sections here I can see. I mean, I want to trim off. And that's fine. Um, touch up how you want. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.